Hey guys, welcome back to another episode here from the Hermitcraft server with me, me, me. Ah, yeah, <laughs> yes. <laughs> Oh, he couldn't resist, couldn't he? <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> Perfect. I knew it. I knew it. Oh, wow, what happened here? Hmm. You wanted to become Mumbo's best friend and got the crown to do so. But you blew up his wall door. mm 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 mm, -mm. I don't think Mumbo will become your friend now. <laughs> I don't know how to physically, emotionally or spiritually fix this. <laughs> yes. <laughs> we got him. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, message delivered. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Yeah, that triggered. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I can't wait to see Mambo's reaction to this one. <laughs> hey, it, it didn't start it. I didn't start it. Blowing up TNT in other people's bases in a controlled way was fine. We conducted last week. <laughs> but, you know, in case of emergency, of course, I also pulled a light medic um, off Mambo's base beforehand so you know we are able to repair it no problem and it's also yeah this thing was extremely controlled nothing else would be damaged here and um, you know last episode of course i couldn't really show you everything that was going on here <laughs> because yeah <clears throat> need to make sure green doesn't see it and it worked uh, a lot of crazy stuff happened here with yeah because <laughs> You see, our cannon is down there, and we actually somehow managed to blow up this door. And yeah, it's literally invisible. How did we do that, you wonder? And yeah, I'll, I'll show you <laughs> in a test world um, what we actually did here. It is pretty, pretty crazy. But before we do that, let's um, do what we do. Appreciate fan artists. And yeah, this week's thumbnail by the one and only Trying My Worst, who was already featured like I think two or three weeks ago. But yeah, they delivered an amazing art piece again. Make sure to check all, uh, all the links in the video description and um, show them some love and support. Follow them on their social media if you want to uh, see amazing art pieces. And um, yeah, check it out. Uh, <laughs> sitting there chilling with the epic Gotons. I love the hairstyle that it used. Um, and the beard is very on point. My beard is a little bit more gray these days, but uh, yeah, a lovely, lovely, lovely painting. The, the implementation of the horns is exceptionally great. I mean, I love it. It's, it's, it's absolutely beautiful. And then, of course, our majestic wings, right? <laughs> yeah. At the moment, uh, every hermit's elytra will look like butterfly wings to us. I'm hoping, you know, I can get it hooked up to the texture pack somehow. Um, that yeah, we no longer uh, that only our our wings look like butterflies. But uh, for the time being, we have to yeah accept that um, every butterfly, uh, well everybody has butterfly wings right now. <laughs> All right, so yeah, that's that. So now you guys um, want to know what happened? Um, what happened here? Well, I'd say uh, we jump over to a test world, and uh, I'll show you. All right, and here we are on a copy of the Hermitcraft server. Here you can see, you know, Mumbo's base with everything. And yeah, below, here is our uh, setup. <laughs> loaded, fully loaded now, the TNT cannon here. Uh, with TNT all the way to the top to get enough acceleration for the TNT. Um, up in front, here, we have the projectile. It's two TNT charges um, we will fling at a Mambo store. The design is called a Bunker Buster. Spent uh, an hour or two with methods to design that. Um, so, <laughs> yeah, here, this is the charge. Then we have the propellant, 
uh, which will accelerate our charge. This is all this TNT up in here, seems like 40 or 44. And then we have this here, uh, these 14 T that they are solely used to align the charges. So first, you know, the charges drop down. Uh, first, uh, and then, you know, these drop down, push the charges all up in front right here against this trapdoor where the propellant sits that makes sure everything is always nicely aligned in the shot is always the same. So we use TNT to get TNT in position to get other TNT in position, kind of a cascading effect. Yeah, and then here is everything wired together and it just goes up here with a little bit of delay that is nicely timed and there's a piston sitting here at this block and it will pull out this block. So here is the door. Um, so how does TNT work? Well, as the propellant sits right here in this block in the water down below, it, uh, the TNT should fly in a perfect 45 degree angle and then fly out and then, you know, uh, shoot off 45 degree. Th that's what actually happens in the end, but it is not how the game calculates TNT. It does that in one tick. It calculates in one tick the TNT is supposed to be here, 45 degree over. So what it does is, it calculates the position of the TNT first upwards and then over. And all of that happens in one tick. That means if you open this, uh, this door here, um, the TNT uh, sits right below the door, will in-game be first shot up and then over in one tick, not fly diagonally. That's why we can have it completely hidden down below here and have all kinds of obstacles in the way, like this gate here or whatever there is, and still manage to kind of warp right the tnt threw everything right into this position so the trigger we're using here is also a fun little system um, we have um, here a skull catalyst and um, yeah the skull catalyst is hooked up upwards and there is a dispenser here and in this dispenser we had a message to, uh, to green it says it's not gonna be you you know the best friend after you demolished his base so that is one thing that gets triggered and then of course triggering over and triggering the actual cannon and how does this thing uh, work well um, yeah it will convert stuff to skulk right if you kill this zombie who is wearing the crown right now as you can see <laughs> um, yeah uh, Blocks will be transferred into um, uh, Skulk, but um, this thing also does a block update because it detects a, you know, something got killed and uh, that's what we use to trigger. So yeah, when Green then walked up, I haven't seen his video yet, but uh, he somehow killed this guy. So if we kill this dude, right, um, you can hear everything triggering and then boom, we launch TNT right at this position. Right now I had uh, ex TNT explosions off. We can quickly repaste this thing. Uh, no, uh, M, M, R, yeah, paste. Boom, so we get the TNT back and now I need to allow uh, TNT explosions in the world. For testing purposes, carpet is so helpful. You can tick warp, you can do all kinds of stuff, or for example here, you know, turn off the explosion damage for TNT. And if you do experiments with cannons, uh, that is definitely very, very helpful <laughs> because you don't have to rebuild everything all the time. Anyways, we have a reset here now, and now we will actually see how much damage the TNT does. So let's kill this guy and, you know, everything triggers again. And yeah, everything happens in one tick, pretty much. <laughs> and it perfectly takes out, um, yeah, the front door here. I mean, with a setup like that, you can make tunnel bores, right? Uh, it's a very old concept. Uh, I don't know. I've been playing around with that seven years ago. And um, yeah, it's still used uh, today for, for cool, cool setups. Like, uh, if we would do uh, more TNT, we could blast the hole straight through um, Mambo's base here. <laughs> and I was thinking about if I should literally blast the hole straight uh, through Green's uh, base there, but, you know, <laughs> refrained from it and rather went for a um, yeah, way more devious plan, blowing up Mambo's vault door here uh, with a controlled explosion. 
out of nowhere and you can see right uh, you can't find it obviously here the papers then get uh, dispensed as well when the whole thing triggers with the message and yeah that's what's left uh, down here then uh, but yeah on the hermitcraft server definitely looked like uh, green discovered it <laughs> well yeah clearly he dug up here and wanted to figure out what happened um, so there is that but for now i think hopefully he'll be busy with you know arguing with mambo how to fix the door <laughs> i don't know i just want to continue my project in the perimeter that's all i want to do um, let's see if Scar cleared up his skulls, by the way. I think he was at it, if I'm not completely mistaken. No. <laughs> Some are gone, I feel, but yeah. Most still here. All right. I think that was a decent prank. It stuck. <laughs> huh? What the heck is this? <gasps> oh my god! What the actual... <gasps> this thing's still going. What? How many entities is this? 3,000! What? <gasps> oh my god, what the... Oh, it's lagging so much, I can't... I need to stop this. Oh my god, you got to be kidding me. Oh. Uh, okay, I'm just gonna knock out these dispensers. What? The actual are you insane why is my computer not exploding oh my god oh you're thankful for the hive mind optimization pack I can literally play here with like this is more than 3000 entities I only looked into oh my what the actual this is... Uh, oh my god. Is this all the dispensers? Are they in... Did the... Oh my god! Who? Is it them? Is it their revenge already? What? Oh my god, there's more here. They struck quickly, man. They, they didn't. They know my weakness. It's my child. <laughs> they knew I didn't have much time this week because freaking kindergarten was closed again. And, oh my! They got three rows of this. Whoa, dude! Are you kidding me? Oh my god, this is the worst. Dude, I. This is gonna be revenge. What the actual. I need to, I need to get to the sign. I saw there was a platform. Oh my god. Maybe it was Zedaf because we dragged him. Or Mumbo. Who knows? Who would do such a thing? Like. You know, I'm saying controlled explosions, or I can't even, you know, it's. Can't even. Can't land here, it's like everything is. Oh my god. You got to be kidding me. You know how many eggs these. These, these chicken will lay. Oh my god. The, <laughs> the entities will build up more and more. Like, I don't even want to know how bad the rest of the server is suffering from this right now. Probably the, the data center is on fire. Oh my god. Okay, let's let's clear dispensers. This is absolute... Okay, let's use... Is all dispensers knocked out? 
Ja. Oh. My God. <laughs> you got to be kidding me. I need some seeds. Oh. You got to be kidding me. I'm lost for words. I don't even... How... Wow. That's insane. Look at the dragon lagging. They're lagging out the complete server. Look at the sun. We're frozen. Oh my god. What did they do? <sighs> no way, they're freaking everywhere. There is chicken everywhere. Oh my lord. How can you be so ruthless? <laughs> oh. This is insane. Every non-water covered inch of the perimeter is covered in chicken. Look at how they lag towards me. Come here, my children. Are uh, you serious? Oh my god. Bro. I don't like this prank. <laughs> Yo. Bro. You. I. I will do it. Wow. <laughs> Neither green nor scar entered the perimeter at any time. Ah ha ha ha. You don't mess with Mumbo's friendship. <laughs> I didn't. You messed with. You blew up his, uh, you know, wall door. It was me. It was like, what do you mean? The perimeter <laughs> belongs to them now. <sighs> Holy crap, it's so many. What the actual... I need to start culling, man. I need to start culling the ones here in the machine. I gotta get lava. But, wait, what does this mean? Neither green nor scar into the perimeter? Chicken? Uh-oh. Hmm. Does it mean the big hero, the rooster of doom, <laughs> poultry man, has returned? Uh, I get it. They showed up as hot guy and poultry man. Oh, and green and uh, it's gone. Never touched the perimeter. <laughs> Very funny. <clears throat> Chicken man. Oh, man. One thing's for sure. The perimeter here is not a suitable habitat for all these chicken. Look at that. I mean, we gotta take care of our animals. Stony ground here. Endangered by killer tomatoes jumping around. There's an angry warden sitting down in a hole somewhere shooting at you. Nah. Poisonous pot uh, mushrooms, potentially. Yeah, that's it's really not a good place for a chicken. I think we should bring them back, you know, return them um, where they came from and uh, bring them into a more organic and um, green and lush-looking environment. Yo, how long does it take to sleep? <laughs> Those chicken are so powerful, they literally 
slow down, uh, slow down time. But yeah, I mean, I can think of a nice place where they could live. There's also lots of space in there. Lush and green. Mm. <laughs> I think I have an idea how we quickly get all these chicken back. <laughs> Return to sender, I say. Return to sender. But first, uh, let's get some lava buckets and cull some of the chicken in the machine. Not that it would make much of a difference when it comes to the lag that they create. Holy moly. 3,000? I don't even know if I should return all of them. I don't know if their computer can handle it. <laughs> no, no, no. Stop being nice. Be a villain for once. They unleashed 3,000 freaking chicken in your perimeter. They deserve any punishment you can think of. Don't. No. No, Mr. Nice Guy. We need things. We need... Ugh, my inventory spent with eggs. Seriously. And all kinds of other shenanigans. I don't even want to use my sorting system right now because I'm scared the lag might break it or something. <laughs> Man, this... You know, how, how? why does it need to escalate? Why does it need to escalate like that? Always like, you know, we could have been done. We could have been done. We could call it quits. We blew up dogs, tunnel bore. You know, and then he is entitled to a little bit of revenge. He cheekily placed some skulls. What's so bad about that? You know, and then to Green, I didn't do much. But then he decided to blow up stuff in my base. He's like, you know, I mean, where, what can I do? I have to, I, I, I have to retaliate. Where is flint and steel? We need, we need things. Yes, we need my utility thing, and then we need we need to set up things. We need need some slabs maybe, and we need tons of fences, and um, we need a lava bucket for culling. And then we will strike back, man. We will bring these back. I'm gonna transport them over the nether ceiling. Might have to turn off some of my portals here because everything is tightly linked, but worth it. I'm not gonna go around cull like three thousand chicken here. Like, I'm an animal lover. I'll return them into a suitable living situation. Obviously, those here, they have to be culled. They are traumatized from being trapped in these tight spaces here. There's no, no saving them. I'm sorry. Okay, let's... Man, the leg, even breaking blocks. Oh, they're sitting on a fan. Oh, okay, carpet. So I can't even easily cull them. I have to do it myself. Wow, wow, wow. Okay, it keeps on getting worse. Oh my god, this gonna... Did I break out the carpet? I think I did. Let's see. Oh my god, how slow the lava flows. Okay, I think this is the better way to do it. I'm gonna break out the, the carpet below. Out of the way, yes. And then... We can quickly, quickly get rid of them. Oh my god. Bro, this is insane. Look, they're, like, they're literally everywhere. <laughs> oh boy. Oh boy, oh boy, oh boy, oh boy. I mean, this is... Alone, those chickens there, just in these holding pens here, would mean death to... <laughs> lag death to anything. I mean, what the... You know, probably they didn't think that, you know, some of the area is chunk loaded, right? Especially here. That thing runs because of, oh, because of the dragon. Ah, oh, man. And then, you know, it kept on uh, spawning chicken. <laughs> I mean, if they intended to spawn that many, they are insane. They probably did, to be honest. I mean, I'm coming to the realization, you know. That I was not exaggerating, saying, if uh, I let them run free, they will burn down your house. I mean, that's the equivalent of burning down your house, lagging it out so much that it becomes unplayable. That's literally like burning down your house in, in Minecraft. I told you. I told you. You know, it's unbelievable. These absolute mad lads. 
Thankfully, the hitboxes of the chicken are so small that you can easily punch through and get the carpets. But this got to take me a while. Okay, I'm going to... When? We're going to spend all day <laughs> retaliating. I, I can already see it coming. Okay, yeah, that's the faster way. Place it straight in there. Okay, yeah, I'm... I'm going to color view. Oh, man. Oh, my God! I fell into a chicken hole and got suffocated to death by chicken! Oh my god. Oh. Uh, thankfully, I didn't place the lava yet. I got killed by chicken. I got killed by chicken. Oh my god. The most embarrassing death you can even imagine. Killed by chicken. Oh my god. I'm never gonna live. I'm never gonna go. go oh, I am never gonna be able to. Oh my god. I will... This leaves a mark for... Ever. I will never be able to get over this. I got killed by chicken. Suffocated to death by chicken. I blame the leg. I broke the glass block. It took forever. All of a sudden I was in the chicken hole. Oh my god. It get, it's getting worse. <laughs> this is the worst. Oh my god. I'm... <sighs> I literally want to burn down Scarland now. Oh, oh my god. <laughs> I got killed by chicken, the mighty goat. But we all know that chicken are the... Oh my god, okay, now, now land carefully, don't... Oh my god. You stupid chicken. There's all my stuff. Oh my god. Do we get... I can't even... Now I need to punch these chicken by hand. I want to get my sword out. I'm too scared. Like, if I, Okay. Uh, some of my stuff might be in the hopper there. <laughs> oh, wow. <laughs> that was good. You know, the anger. The anger boiling up inside of me. I feel like I'm uh, about to turn into straight-up Hulk mode. Are you kidding me? Sitting here, have to f fist punch this stupid chicken to death. Mm. Oh, wait, I'm gonna. Bro, I'm gonna. Oh, calm down. I don't know how many, like. How many are those? Okay, I will dare to drop down a block to be able to pick up my stuff. Okay, okay, that's alright. Where is the sword? It's in the hopper, probably. No, oh, some stuff is over there, on top of the hopper. Okay, here's the sword. That's good. Oh, my God. Food. I think I have all my tools back and stuff. That's, that's good. Okay, is there anything else useful? Stupid chicken, man! Project uh, Relocate the Chicken <laughs> has started. I'm over here, um, as you can see, inside of the rock. And I think here is a beautiful natural habitat for the chicken to live in. Look at all this space they're going to have. Nice. They can dig up worms. They can go down here, spread out all over in these nooks and crannies, hide away. You know, if anybody would ever come looking for them. Um, and um, just be happy, happy chickens, right? That's um, what we all want in the end. The chicken want to be happy. And uh, that's a, a great place for the chicken to be. Let's make a nice, nice portal here for our chicken friends. Just like so. Yeah. And now we just need to find some good connections to this. Um, 
over on the nether ceiling and uh, find the shortest route from perimeter uh, to um, Green's Rock here. <laughs> and um, yeah, I'm thinking I will have to disable some of my portals over there because everything is really tightly packed, but temporarily we can do that. Um, yeah, let's get to the nether ceiling and uh, try to figure out where we can use his portal here. And then we yeah, pick a good location for this portal here and try to connect. And from there on out, uh, it should be uh, a walk in the chicken park. <laughs> All right, good. So this portal now connects uh, to the one we just created inside Green's base. Nice. Okay. So yeah, and then we'll just drop the chicken, all of the chicken in here. Let's see how he can deal with 3,000. <laughs> you know, and as I said, um, it's just uh, in the name of the chicken. I mean, you know, we don't want to mess with poultry man and poultry man's friends, all these chicken. They need to be returned to the rightful rightful chicken holder. Now we just need to find a good location somewhere in the perimeter where we can connect this. There is a lot of stuff going on up here with portals that connect and also downstairs so I might have to disable quite a lot of things. The crystal farm and um, probably the storage room chunk loading system as well. Transport all the chicken and I can't forget afterwards to activate them. Otherwise, we are in a world of hurt. <laughs> a lot of things could break and a cascading effect of absolute devastation could. Like if the storage room um, gets broken, oh my god. Okay, so I need to be careful doing this and uh, have my wits together, but we cannot let it, let it, like what? Oh, I still, like, they're crazy. This is crazy. <sighs> okay. Uh, find portal locations. All right. Oh my god. Look at this. They're spreading into the water. <laughs> I tried to set up a portal here and I hope it links now. I had to disable quite a bunch of my portals. We need to get the chicken out of here so we can test it. We don't want chicken going through now. You go away. Oh my god. Go away. Okay. That is should be enough to keep them out for now. Okay, now we can light this and see where it connects us to. I hope I found all portals that could be in range. We cannot use our storage room right now. The chunk loader is not working and yes, very good. Okay, over there is where the chicken need to go and this is where they come out. And uh, this is uh, connected to green side of things. Now I just need Get some fence post and we're gonna fence that all in here a little bit. I think two, three out just in case the chicken literally pour out here, but should be good. And then we just have this, this fence wall here. Um, and then we bring him over. I think that should be yeah, it. <laughs> and then he can take care of all the chicken. I mean, he's a poultry man after all, or is he? Who knows? He knows him at least. All right, all the portal connections are made and double checked. I think we should be good. Should be able to get the first batch of chicken <laughs> to the nether. Oh my god, when they render in, it's shocking every time. <sighs> okay, let's remove the glass blocks here. You know, and then take our seeds. We hang out here at the edge of the portal, I guess. Go through, chicken army. Yes. Oh, no. Okay, okay. Uh, that's good. That's good. We can do a first test run. Nice, nice. Yeah, and here, obviously, the portal is a little bit higher, right? So they can't, they can't fall down here. What's with you? You stuck in the corner there? Ah, uh, yeah, we should probably put some some full blocks there, so they can't get stuck there, really. Okay, and it's gonna be a pain in the butt to, to hurt them all. But I think this will work. Okay, chicken army, follow me. It's not far to go. Yeah, we definitely have to do them in batches, man. 
Go <laughs> return to sender. Go back to poultry man, where you came from. Oh yeah, we should probably actually give them a little bit of a step assistance here. And also, yeah, they have a bit of a cooldown. They have a bit of a cooldown, portal cooldown. As it just went. Okay, let's let's see if this batch is cooled down. I think it's a minute or what the portal cooldown, right? So Hey, I got seeds. Oh my god, this is still gonna take forever. That's that's for sure. I'm sneaking. I'm not going fast. Come. Come, come. <laughs> yeah, I'm here. Come, come. I'm here. Come. Through the portal. Perfect. Okay, this will work. <laughs> Oh man, um, okay, so the backway connection doesn't bring us down into chicken hell, it actually brings us up into Hall of Goat. So that's, that's good. A little bit of safety measures here in case of some chickens make it here. But I think we could definitely try to get a bigger batch of chicken through the portal. <laughs> and then, um, you know, one slowly but surely we will... Clear all of this. <laughs> you got to be kidding me, man. Look at this. This is just absolute insanity. <laughs> wow. Now my no entry sign almost looks like it's mocking me, man. These eyes are insane. Dude. What the... <laughs> Chicken, go through. Come here. Follow me. Alright, I'm gonna hoard chicken for a while. We we'll see how it goes. Jeebus. the creepiest thing like I'm not touching my keyboard uh, or mouse I'm just being pushed along by an angry mob of chicken trying to get to the seed <laughs> but this seems to be the most uh, you know the most consistent way to move them all nice and concentrated because I'm not going too fast kind of you know pushing me along I just stay in front of them and get <laughs> pushed along by this mob of crazy chicken <laughs> It's like a, it's like a conveyor belt. It's literally like a conveyor belt. I'm not just getting moved along. Okay, let's see if we can make it around the corner here. Need need to move a little bit. <laughs> getting pushed along by this mass of chicken, man. What the hell? <laughs> Yo, this is this is absolutely nuts. <laughs> Well, but yeah, this way um, we actually get most of them to follow us. I, I had a huge badge in here and managed to clear out the nether side pretty much almost completely. Yeah, if I, if I move, see, some are staying back. But now if I let myself just be pushed by the, by the mob, it works. Yeah, let's go through here. Oh man, that was a nice, nice batch. Oh, all of the dropping inside green space. Oh boy. <laughs> it's gotta be crazy. Let's have a let's have a look. <laughs> let's have a look what's going on over there. Oh yeah, oh yeah, oh yeah. <laughs> Probably should take this the scaffolding gear out. Alright, set them down. Oh yeah, I can already feel the lag building up. 
<laughs> you know, there's a lot of them here already, but the crazy thing is, it feels it didn't even leave a dent in the insane amount of chicken down there in the perimeter, man. I tell you, like, oh god, there's chicken here. Dude, there's gonna be, it's literally like a glitter bomb. There is gonna be chicken on the Hermitcraft server everywhere. Everywhere. <laughs> yeah. I didn't leave a tent at all, man. I got to sleep, I'm, you know, there's more. But it feels the lag is already getting slightly better. Slightly better. Hey, <laughs> man. There is so many chicken that, um, yeah, I need to use a chicken sweeper to sweep them together. We're gonna build a sweeping setup that sweeps all the chicken over there towards the portal so we can hoard them easier. I mean, <laughs> this is absolutely ridiculous. It's like, yo, hive mind, we need to design a chicken sweeper. A what? Yeah, chicken sweeper, man. What, what do you mean? <laughs> Oh yeah. <laughs> man, like what the heck? Oh, this is this is an absolute nightmare. It's like a never-ending nightmare. I need to sleep before all kinds of baddies spawn on us. And I also caught Zedaf. <laughs> he said he just followed the egg. He's an innocent witness, but I'm already thinking, man. Um, he also needs a, a quick reminder that you don't blow up other people's bases with TNT. I mean, you know, how, how should, why should he get away unscathed? <sighs> should we, like, you know, I mean, you let me know. I mean, should we also hit Zedaf? I mean, yes, he was just, you know, trying to get his egg, but he could at least have, you know, fixed the explosion or something, or let me know. I mean, you know, I don't feel, I don't feel he's completely innocent here. Um, clearly not. Oh my god, and I have to deal with the stupid slime again. Thank god I didn't flood this area, though. Getting rid of all the chicken in the water, that would have been like an even worse nightmare, man. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I'm gonna extend this all the way to over there, and then we can do a nice sweep. I guess I'll do it until the uh, up until the bedrock edge here, up to here, and then um, you sweep these stupid chicken up, man. All right, all right. Got the observers on just on top there. That should do the trick. And now we need to update this observer, and the thing should start kicking. Let's see. Yes! <laughs> yes, get sweeped, you stupid chicken! Oh my god! Yes, bring them all over to the portal. <laughs> it's getting night time. Where's my bed? To quickly take a nap, man. Ah! Oh. <laughs> Heck! <laughs> yes. Oh. No, a few can escape the cracks. <laughs> it's not really efficient. <laughs> uh, they're able to escape through these cracks here. We're only sweeping up half of them, maybe. Dang it. <laughs> Where's my seat? <laughs> <laughs> what are we doing here? <laughs> Sweeping up chicken, man. What on earth? Oh, we leave quite a few back. Oh, God. God, there's an army of slime being sweeped with it. Dangerous. Dangerous. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, they, can, they can escape through the gaps here. That's hard to avoid, actually. I mean, <laughs> I mean, you know, we sweep up a bunch of them, but surely not all. 
<laughs> Get over there. <laughs> now here's the big mess of him. <laughs> Man, we leave him. We leave him in nice columns at least. So now you know, they can stand in line to be transported through the portal, I guess. Not that they will completely flock in. Oh no! No! <laughs> no. No. Well, that was a complete and utter disaster. Now, as we unloaded the flying machine by, by dying, <laughs> it probably got stuck, but, it, you know, we got pretty far and it didn't work too well anyways. <laughs> Man, this seems to be a complicated endeavor to build a sweeper that is capable of, you know, sweeping away thousands of chicken. <laughs> Let's see. <laughs> If it was somewhat successful and uh, F3B, let's see if you can, yeah, there. Oh, wait a minute. Flying machine is still going. Oh my god, where is all our gear? <laughs> our inventory is gonna get flooded with. Oh, here, here. Okay, we exploded over there. We're gonna get flooded with eggs. Oh man. <laughs> Okay, we were here to the side. Thank God, those chickens. But this this flying machine was quite robust. It recovered. It survived. It keeps on pushing. Probably all the chicken glitched through, though. <laughs> Man. Oh, what an actual nightmare this is. Dude. <laughs> it's What's all happening? Your, it's all your fault. <laughs> oh. I... I, I did so, no no such thing. Where, oh. where, what's happening? Where is it all? If you go down into the, per the perimeter, roughly where the flagpole is, you'll see. Oh, no. I'm hoarding them all into portals right now and shipping them back over to green. <laughs> 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 oh no, no, I'm coming. It's, every movement bring, I do it takes about two minutes. Bring seed with you. <laughs> oh my goodness me, they're loading in now. Yes. What is this? <laughs> they set this thing up, man, and for days spawned chicken. There was like 5,000 <laughs> chicken or something, man. What? <laughs> I retaliated. Oh, they're overpowering. Uh, I retaliated because, because they, you know, they sent you to blow up my base. And I said, okay, I'm going to prank you back. A small little explosion in their base, too. And then they come back and they did this to me, man. It's thousands. I tried to sweep them up with a flying machine, but no chance, man. They're... <laughs> 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 They're pretty powerful. This is so painful. Okay, right. I've got like probably about a million following me right now. Yeah, like, where, where am I taking them? Through yeah, the portal? Yeah, I'll, there's a portal somewhat in the middle of the whole mess on the ground. If you can yeah, see yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, I see it. I'm on the nether side of things right now, holding them further. Oh my goodness. Oh, they lost me. They lost me. <laughs> yeah, it's so painful because they're also so laggy and slow, you know? It's like. <laughs> Oh, it's it's oh. it's like a, a never-ending nightmare. You have you have nightmare fuel from that. If you come to the nether side and you have like five hundred chickens staring into your soul, <laughs> bro. <laughs> <laughs> they're all looking for a, a, a new mummy. Yeah, and, and they think gonna, it's you. They're gonna find a new home over in green space, man. He has so much okay. space in there. <laughs> uh, I'll be right there. Yeah, I'm just trying to, yeah. Get a few hundred. Yeah, or. yeah, it's fine. <laughs> Things take a long time when you're dealing with this many chickens. Dude, wait, you're speaking from experience? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I've got, I've got a bunch. I'm nearing the portal. Oh, oh, I'm seeing raw chicken all over the floor as well. Yeah, I mean, some got culled. I mean, it's unavoidable. You know, the slime keep on attacking, and if you kill the slime, there is some innocent chicken being slain as well. I mean, I'm trying my best, you know, to rehome them in a more suitable environment. I mean, look at that. Do you want to live in that hole on concrete yeah, I floor? Mean, you know? Okay, more more coming through now. You should see some appearing. Oh, yes. Oh, God. Oh, God. It's a nightmare. <laughs> oh, terrible. <laughs> oh, God. Okay. And now it's me coming through. I need oh, to see this. Yeah. <laughs> it's terrible. <laughs> I'm just stuck in the portal, wibbling. Oh, there it is. It'll okay. take a while. <laughs> hey, Whoa! You're, yeah. You'll bring them along here if you can. Oh, okay. And then oh, the noise is unbearable. Yeah, the, the clicking, right? The, it, it, it's the yeah. little scrappy feet scratching on... Oh, it's... Oh. 
It's, dude, I'm going to have nightmares. <laughs> I'm doing this for two hours now, hoarding chicken. Oh, my goodness. It doesn't feel I, I left a dent, man. There's so many still left over there. I need to uh, release yeah. an army oh of foxes yeah. or something. I don't even know what to do. <laughs> I think oh, well, you might have already al almost been better setting up like a water stream in the overworld to take them there or something. I don't even know, man. It's like, you know, it's it's like a glitter bomb exploded in your apartment. Like, I will find <laughs> yeah. chicken for the next yeah. 10,000 years. <laughs> but it's worse because then the glitter gives birth to little eggs that then cause loads of lag everywhere as yes. well on top of that. Yeah, little glitter lag eggs. Oh, my God. It's <laughs> Oh. Egg glitter, egg glitter. You deserve this. We need to help me now, man. You deserve. Uh, you're it. right. You're right. I I feel bad. I feel bad. Who knew one little explosion would cause so much chicken? What do you mean? Who knew? It's always like that. You're on the on the Hermitcraft server, <laughs> a whole wars broke out about an a sign. <laughs> Yeah, this is true. This is true. You know, I just, yeah, I thought my, I, you know, I got them back so nicely, blew up a Mambo's bunker and messed with them a little bit. You know, nothing too, too major. And then I come back to this. I mean, that is maximum escalation. How do you even strike back? I mean, <laughs> well, like you say, first things first, you get the chickens back in Grian's area to, yeah, to yeah. sort out. Um, but then you need to do something more as well. I don't know what that would be. I have no idea, man. Well, how, like, you can? How can you top this? Five thousand <laughs> chicken? I mean, <laughs> I don't see that. Oh my goodness! Are you, are you in green space by now? No. Yeah, you gotta, you gotta check it out. There's, you know, I've been doing this for two hours and see how many are still in the perimeter. You know, there's at least yeah, as many over at green. <laughs> A scary amount left in there. Have you have you already? You say you've been doing this for two hours now. Yeah. Okay. It's nuts. <laughs> Dude, uh, 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 oh wait, yeah, you'll come out at the main portal if you go through through this one. Yeah, come come. Uh, it is okay. Oh yeah yeah yeah. Okay, I'm gonna fly to Greens if I can even fly. Uh, yeah, you should be. Uh, you'd probably be upstairs in a glass encasement. Fly up and out. It's just yeah, yeah, safety yeah. measures. I'll come there too. <laughs> Oh my goodness! What are, they're not even like contained. <laughs> Look down. <laughs> oh, I hate having you and Green for neighbours. I must say. <laughs> oh Look my god! That's insane. Oh my goodness! Yes, this, <laughs> yes, this caves down here as well. Oh my god! I need to put that seed out of my hand. You know they. They literally swarm you and suffocate you. It's scary. Yeah, it is. <laughs> <laughs> I think I think I know. There might be a couple of foxes over near Tango's base. That might be the closest fox I I know about. Oh really? Do you know where they were? Um, I mean, uh, let's have a look. Yeah, I would need some foxes down there, man. It's yeah, like, they might only be like knee height, but they certainly overwhelm you very quickly. Uh, I got they, they suffocated me to death once already. I fell into really? the, one of the holes they used for breeding them, man. Oh my goodness. Okay. There's a baby fox. There it is. Get hooked up. All right. I need one more. And then I'm out of here. I just need to take two foxes home. And that, yeah. that should yeah, be Yeah, it. yeah, 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 yeah. I would say maybe even just tie them up and then like breed yeah. them and then let the ba their babies go free and yes. wander. Yes. Or have them all tied up for us so I can breed them up quick. I guess, yeah. You uh, want you want to get a whole bunch. Wait, <laughs> You're going to end up with like 80 oh, can foxes. You, can you maybe take take this baby fox already? Uh, yeah, sure. If you give me a lead. Yeah. Uh, oh, no. Wrong, wrong button. Wait. Start walking him, walking him over. Uh. How thick is this woods here, man? What the? Did yeah, I know. I just just came through it myself. Oh, man. oh I see you. All this I think nature. I saw some movement. All this nature. Yeah, there you are. <laughs> well, where yet? You see me? I'm, I'm I come along the path along the side of the perimeter a little bit uh, okay. towards the flag. Ah, uh, you're back there. I see you. Yeah. Oh man. I think oh. yeah, it shouldn't be too difficult to just kind of like very carefully um if you ever saw aerial sheep service back in the yeah. day very carefully fly off and let it dangle behind you all right if you manage long, to do it yeah then as long as you don't land go too in the quick. water yeah yeah in worst case they'll land in the water anyway so yeah. here you go ready i'm gonna go whoop and then very very slowly fly yeah you did it he's on you <laughs> 
Nice. As long as you don't go too quick, the lead stays. Oh, don't hit him on the farm. <laughs> I'm just going to spiral my way down and land in the water, and then we're nice. all good. Okay, you you just walked off the cliff or what? Yeah, walked off the cliff and then like activate your your wings as quick as possible, but just try and really go, fly as slowly as you can. <laughs> oh man, I really don't want to risk it. I think you got to pick him up. I'm gonna. Okay, okay. Gonna... I've had I've had plenty of practice. Yes, I've got. Can you um? I... Can you fence post uh, your fox up there? Uh, no, <laughs> no fence okay, post. Um... Yeah, just let him be there. I'll. Let's switch, uh, switch positions. Just come okay, back up. okay. I'm just gonna let him, let him free. Yeah. Uh, boop. We should find him. Um, and then, oh, I can't take off in the water. Oh, it's because of the millions of eggs. That's why I can't take off. <laughs> <laughs> All right, here I am. Okay. okay. And releasing boop. that one. Right. Yep, okay. I got him. The other one should one be down. around here. Before the... Yes. He's just chilling in the water. He's loving it. Yeah. <laughs> oh, my baby fell off, but it's fine. Oh, no. But it was over it's water all, it's already. Safe. Yeah, okay. Yeah, definitely. Again, I'm, re I'm very curious about how those foxes are going to yeah. actually work, whether they're like good at finding out the little stray chickens or whatever. Uh, well, you probably got, uh, would need a whole bunch of them to have any proper effect. I yeah, mean, I think so. Yeah, but, but, again, but over time, time if they can kill, you know, if they can over kill time, one chicken every every minute or so, like that, yeah. you know, that's still going to yeah, just over, AFK and eventually it'll work. Yeah, over time, if I have a population of 20 foxes in here or so, they'll probably clean it out over time. Yeah. I mean, that's the only option. It'd actually make oh it really God, fun there. How many deaths are you in? It's another hundred <laughs> through the whole, through the portal or so, you know. <laughs> yeah, like, I'm thinking getting through getting through to the nether, then you mad. can take it from there. It's just mad. Oh my god. But it's oh, oh it's god. feeling better by now. It's not like horrendous. But still I mean yeah, you've moved the problem. <laughs> <laughs> like I still see like around a thousand or more entities looking this way and the other way also a thousand two hundred so there's still about Goodness. I don't know maybe yeah I mean as soon as you get here. really as soon as you move over near the, the the flag though it just gets denser and denser yeah. of chickens it's nuts <laughs> all right yeah I'm gonna take a break okay. I'm gonna have some lunch now yeah, I'm cool. All right, man. Some, uh, some chicken. <laughs> <laughs> I might pop back in in a couple of hours and see how you're getting on. <laughs> yeah. All right. <laughs> see you later, Good man. Good luck. Thanks for the see help. <laughs> no worries. Well, I just did a check over at Green's base, and looking down, I saw 1,700 entities. <laughs> <laughs> and that's not even a fraction of the chicken we had here. You got to be kidding me. That's absolutely nuts. Okay, but standing up here, I think I'm attracting a whole lot. Okay, I'm gonna uh, have lunch now. And I'm gonna do this and let's see how well this system works. <laughs> I mean, there's a certain radius that this will get, and yeah, over time, I think we can can kill quite a lot here. Should be safe from the slime. They will also cook off, and we will not leave any items behind. Ah, uh, the chicken. Eventually, yes. Eventually, there will be enough, and they will just get yeah pushed into lava like that. All right, cool. Ah. Minecraft Science. And here you can nicely see the attraction radius for chicken to seed. <laughs> it looks not so bad anymore. <laughs> it's just, uh, you know, they're not rendering in over there. <laughs> it's still bad. <laughs> but we got rid of some. That's something. Okay, let's get our lava back. And... Uh, I guess set up the same thing over there. Keep on culling. Wait, can we snack that? Yes, we can. <laughs> well, Hermit's probably wondering why is the performance so bad? Lag, lag. <laughs> oh boy, you know. We spent months and months always clearing our entities, and now you have this thing 
Oh god, and lots of mobs too. Wee, I'm out of here. I'm out of here. Okay, let's sleep. Oh, looks like the foxes grew up. I just wanted to try the, the wall of fire strategy here. <laughs> this firewall, and I wanted to see, do chickens also avoid fire? Hard to tell. They sure push me into the fire. Ah! <laughs> Darn you, you chicken! I mean... Yeah. Wait, I don't even have food on me. Oh yeah, I do. <laughs> I do have a bunch of cooked chicken. <laughs> don't think they want to walk through the fire, really. They carefully avoid it. Smart chicken. Smart chicken! <laughs> I'm really starting to lose my mind here. <laughs> I literally just stand there. And the chicken keep on pushing me around in random directions, collecting a bigger and bigger cluster of chicken. And it seems like I can't be killed by the by the slime as long as I stay inside of the chicken force field. And just relentlessly moving along. I mean, I'm culling and culling and culling. The army of foxes is being bred up. Okay, now we, <laughs> we ran into this here. Let's see where we move along. Yeah, we slowly scoot along here. More and more chicken being attracted to our chicken ball. I mean, eventually... Okay, now... Yeah, we kind of stuck there. Okay. Now comes the satisfying part. Whoa. <laughs> Literally just killed like a hundred chicken or so. <laughs> Wow. Insane. Insane. I need to get rid of the items. So my current goal <laughs> is clearing everything beyond the failed uh, chicken sweeper. So everything towards the Witter Reactor. Uh, the herd is getting thinner over here. It's definitely slowly but surely getting the halfway normal FPS again. But yeah, there's still hundreds if not uh, more than thousand chicken around especially over there like over there there's just like it almost didn't look like it changed since we started the culling and uh, relocating i mean here and there you know i'm sending some more batches through towards green thinking he has probably two thousand chicken at his base by now <laughs> It's getting completely ridiculous here, you know, and I, I, by now, like, I got, like, 45 levels just from killing chicken. <laughs> yeah, I turned to manual labor because, you know, now here, um, the chicken population is less dense and it's really more difficult to attract a nice amount of them. See, I'm walking around here, right, and barely can pick up any chicken anymore. I mean, sure, there's not too many around, but... Still, yeah, here we sent out the herd quite a bit. It was also, it was the thinnest to start with here, right? It's the furthest away from the spawning hell machine they had going on. <laughs> I'm, I'm mostly concerned about all the chicken that's spreading out in the water as well. They're going to be exceptionally tedious to clear. Yeah, but uh, yeah, the fox army is expanding over there. Yeah, you see, you here it's kind of... Clearing out out now, oh man! But it's still oh, yeah, 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 yeah. so many. Okay, let's uh, eat and then feed the foxes. We need more. Oh my god, those slime are the end of me at some point. They make it triple and double more annoying to do anything down here. All right, now let's breed some foxies. Yep. Okay, good enough. That's one more. Yep, there we go. Baby fox. Where is it? Where is it? Is you the free roaming guy? Yeah, come here. To the post. Okay, we're getting there. We're getting there. Oh, I can't believe it. I just went through the chicken portal and a creeper blew up. You got to be kidding me. Oh, and I don't have... Oh, my God. 
Yeah. <laughs> Lol. Oh, I gotta reset my spawn to spawn. Oh my god. How many times did this stupid chicken kill me now? Oh. Oh. <laughs> Watch out! The slime, man. This is absolute chaos. It's just uh, slime and poultry everywhere, dude. Look <laughs> over here. They they had this oh rig, my goodness. and you know, in every slot there was dispensers with tons of chicken sitting, and you know, little did they know this area is chunk loaded. So I come on, and there is like literally like six thousand oh chicken. My goodness, dude. That's not even, that's a fraction what you see around you right now. You know, half of it I already transferred back to green space. <laughs> yes, yeah, 2,000 like chicken. I got my own now. army. I got an army going. Yeah. Amazing. Yeah, that's indeed. I'm, supposed, I'm trying to make an episode right now, but the thought of uh, <laughs> removing chickens from the, this world was much more exciting for me. Yeah. We gotta herd them together and then release the foxes on them, man. I've been breeding foxes for two hours. Oh, dude, yeah, let's take these massive hordes over to the foxes. Ah! Oh, you the know, slimes make this really annoying. If you stand inside of them, it's like a force field and slime can get you. Look, <laughs> <laughs> Look at you, dude. I'm invincible. I'm chicken oh, boy. Man. Dude, look at that! That's epic! <laughs> you look amazing! It's like a chicken force field, dude. <laughs> I need a screenshot of this. I've never <laughs> seen this in my life. <laughs> you know, the most this efficient way to get it there. This is way more interesting than uh, <laughs> grinding, you know? This is fantastic, dude. Wait, I, I want a bigger army. Your army's... <laughs> no! You're sucking up my army, man! <laughs> okay, here we go. No, hey, come on, no! Old. Yeah, here we go. <laughs> Chicken are, are you? What is the what was the game called where you need to keep on chicken IO? Where you need to keep yeah, on yeah, growing? Yeah, chicken IO. Dude, this is a mini game in the making right here, right? Like you gotta try oh. steal chickens from each other. Yeah. Like also, this? you know, I invented a chicken conveyor. Look, you just stand still, and you get more chickens oh, yeah. around you, and they move you about. <laughs> and you create this insane. Wait, this is a Wait, will they move in the direction that you face? No, they just you know where there's more chicken. This direction they push, but eventually the oh, other yeah. side probably will g gain more. <laughs> it's a race, dude. There's yeah. a ra this is a snail race. I'm ahead. Oh, this is amazing. <laughs> yes, I'm winning. Oh wait, they're starting to catch up now. This is so insane, ah, dude. I've been, I've been at it like for five hours now, dude. This is nightmare material. The this sounds. Really is. You hear that? The click, 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 click. Yeah, the, 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 the clickety clackily of their claws. Yeah, yeah it's their weird. claws scraping on the ground, man. Oh, that's gonna. Oh. This is nightmare. No, I okay, lost we... my ball. Yes, they've come to me. Come Wait, with me, chicken. Oh no, I unintentionally fed one stupid chicken. Oh. Dude, can I take these to the foxes? <laughs> yeah, take it. <laughs> look at this. This is madness. Oh, look how hungry they are. Look at their faces, dude. Yeah. An oh, army. oh, look how hungry they are. Okay, I this is actually, this is, I, feel, I don't feel good about this right now, to be honest. What do you mean? Help me. <laughs> You're my Dude, friend. I you, mean, you have to help you, me. Dude, if a war chicken, breaks out. Are helpless. Dude, if a war breaks out, you're on my side. Yeah. There's no doubt, okay? All right, I'm in. <laughs> right. Oh, look, at they're going nuts, dude. They're going absolutely nuts. It's dinner time. Oh, yeah, yeah baby. Shit. Oh, Chicken! <laughs> oh my goodness. Whoa. What the heck? Dude, dude. this slime get literally repelled back by the army of chicken. <laughs> oh no, don't know sword, sword usage, otherwise we might kill foxes. Okay, we need to sleep. Dude, look at the foxes just <laughs> flying. <laughs> oh man. <laughs> I knew I would get a lot of joy coming here instead of me working on my video, dude. This is glorious. <laughs> <laughs> this is absolutely uh, glorious. This is brutal. Wait, wait, can, I, can I stand on top of the middle thing? Uh, no, How can I get up there? Yeah, I mean, you'd have to fly, I guess. It's a fence post. I mean, they're killing. Okay, hold on. They're killing. 
Definitely. Ooh, I'm on. I'm on top. I got on top. Oh right? god, you unleashed the foxes. You clicked on it. Oh no, no. I've I've ender pearled. <laughs> the foxes broke loose. <laughs> Whoops. My bad. Oh, that's, I guess that's good. Oh, I, I wanted to release him anyways. Kill my 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 friends. Yes, kill my fox army. Oh, <laughs> Hans, Franz, go get him. <laughs> oh my god. Fuss! Fuss, doggy! Get him! Stupid slime, get out of my life! I, dude, I'm losing it. I, I can hear only slime sounds and, and cracking feet. I'm about to go completely... I'm, I'm about to turn into a Hulk, man. Like, Doc almost uh, swore there. That's when you know. That's when you know Doc's getting to the end of his tether when he almost swears. <laughs> Die, you stupid chicken, man! Get out of here, slimes! I'm busy! Dude, Jeez. it's so many. Oh, this is the best. Wait, 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 wait. This is we don't want to go this way because there's um they're gonna fall into the bedrock rock holes and that's gonna be a real pain. I'm just gonna cow, cow. I don't even wanna how many chickens do that kill? Is there a statistic for that? Probably. <laughs> yeah, you can see how many how many you kill, right? It must be in the thousands. I don't think I've killed any of them. And they keep coming back for more, man. Look at this chicken slime combo. Chicken slimes, chicken food, feathers, eggs. Can't it's even just see them. <laughs> oh, snap. <laughs> the slime got him. The slime got him. <laughs> <laughs> you know what the worst I got, is? I got those, carried away, dude. I those behind away. here, those are the worst that were spreading out oh, in the water. No. Yeah, dude, they're gonna they're gonna spread forever. Yeah. Oh, that's so annoying. Here, we... dude, you can have my head. Oh, that's thanks. a casualty. <laughs> it's a casualty of what's occurred today, man. Oh my I got God. carried away. <laughs> I've stopped so... watching my life. I think I still have my have, might have some stuff in there somewhere. Oh, okay. Better hurry oh, up then. Go have a quick look. Dude, the foxes though are, are doing work, man. They're doing something. I mean... They're killing. What's crazy though is like you you think that you've taken out a lot of... No! <laughs> Dude! <laughs> this is ridiculous. There must be revenge. I've this. Okay. Please, if you ever retaliate for this, call uh, me. If you, this, if yeah, dude, yeah. yeah. If you re when when you retaliate for this nonsense, yeah. you got a friend in me, dude. Because I I will not be treated this way. This is this has been outrageous. Yeah, that's what I'm saying, man. That is that is too much, man. That is that is pushing it, dude. That. <laughs> You know, I don't even know. I need to really brainstorm how to, like, how do you retaliate to that? And like, I'm, I'm gonna quickly gonna sleep one second. Young little, uh, our young friend Gurian doesn't know who he's messing with. Oh, bless him. He's so oh, cute. Yes. So, oh, we're gonna do a prank, prank on Doc. He doesn't know what he's messing with, man. Does he not know you're the original OG? Jesus. It didn't even start with a prank. They blew up my tunnel bore, man. <laughs> what the heck? I'm, I'm the victim here, clearly, and a victim has any right to, you know, go overboard in retaliation. I agree. I agree. I think that you should go completely over the top, like, worse than in any point in Hermitcraft history. That's just my personal opinion. Yeah, I agree. <laughs> I just need to think about something so evil and annoying man hey viewers um if you have an idea <laughs> i know you're <laughs> devious <laughs> you know feel free feel free to give some suggestions in the comments and no holds barred man and i mean it i agree i think that's a great idea doc you know 
the beautiful viewers out there have a lot more experience with, I don't want to use this word, uh, I'm just going to use this word because there's no other word, but uh, they've got a lot more experience with griefing. We don't grief on this server, of course. No, <clears throat> never. Never. <laughs> oh, I'm man. sure some of the folks out there know a few good quote-unquote griefs, a.k.a. pranks, right? Yeah, I will. I will. This will, but look at this. This feels like progress has been made, man. It feels like almost normal. Yep. There's only 500 chicken here anymore. <laughs> totally normal, man. Oh, dude, the oh, foxes are God. into the bedrock now. Yeah, it's going to take, oh. Are they stuck? There they go. Oh, they're going to, I mean, they, they'll get out eventually. It's just, you know. Yeah, they can jump high. Uh, so yeah, that's, they'll be fine. It's like tunnel rats, man. You don't know, go in there. It's really like war here. It's crazy. Yo, yo. <laughs> Hiya. <laughs> oh, I was in group still. Yeah, I, Ren was just here. We called a whole lot. I think another 2,000 or something. Insane. It's looking amazing now compared to what it was. Oh, yeah. And I, I released like 20 foxes. They're everywhere here in the holes. Is it, is it, is it doing the job? <laughs> yeah, yeah. They're, they're, they're doing a pretty decent job. I... And I think they cannot really get stuck in the two, three high holes because they jump so high. So I think they were invented for this very purpose. Yeah, they're like <laughs> tunnel rats, man. <laughs> oh, but look, look, look at these little. Look at look down there, man. In this hole, these are there's tons of holes like that. Like, oh my goodness! Yeah, yeah. Oh, that is sorry. a prime chicken yeah. hole. Yeah. Oh my god, how many? I don't even know how many chicken. I later need to kill my st uh, check my statistics, but I think I can. <laughs> yeah, you'll set a new record, I think. Thousands, you know, if you ever play stat poker, that's gonna be my trump card. <laughs> Chickens <laughs> killed. <laughs> yeah. Checkmate. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, Definitely. Oh, good. Well, I'm glad. I'm glad that it's it's actually you know you can see the ground again for once. That was yeah. the that was the main worry. But one thing's for sure, right? If a war breaks out, Ren already declared he'll be on my side. Right? You got dragged into this. You just what harmlessly went to Green and asked for an egg. Exactly. So. And I was used. I I didn't yes. know what I was doing. I didn't right. know that TNT would explode if you ignited it i had no clue so <laughs> exactly i was innocent absolutely all right cool cool, cool. yeah i'm gonna you know i'm gonna strike back i need to think about it if you have any if you're the most evil idea you ever had in minecraft and you never wanted to do it if you have one of those feel free to send me a dm on this <laughs> okay please, i'll okay. have a good a good hard think about all of those times i've wanted to uh yeah have revenge on people um, okay yeah yeah <laughs> Channel your inner right. inner demons, please. I, I need them. <laughs> All right, will do. I'll let you know. I'll, uh, yeah. I'll leave you to it. I'll see you soon, Doc. <laughs> Later, man. See ya. <laughs> you killed 13 cow. You killed 4,118 chicken. <laughs> I'm not even done. And Zedaf killed a whole lot. And Ren killed a whole lot. And we burned a whole lot. And we, you know, brought like another 2,000 or whatever over to Green. So God knows how many chicken were you. Like, I killed over 4,000 alone? I mean, what? <laughs> how many chickens were it? I mean, that is just... Okay, we will see what the statistics will say in the end. I mean, I... I keep on killing here, trying to clear the nooks, crannies out, and oh my god, there's still tons around. Haven't seen the foxes in a while. I mean, they are around and doing their thing. Oh, there's these pockets of chicken everywhere. Oh my god, dude, it's literally like a glitter bomb. I will find them in like oh, for months on end. Gonna be stupid chicken all over the place. Oh, the foxes are here trying to go for some chicken in the water. That's probably not the best call. Go for different ones, not the water. Come on. Yeah, yeah, that's it. Don't get stuck in the water. Yeah, I need to clear all out, clear all the ducks as well before they spread out more. Probably should get a boat. Yeah, 
guess this is the way. <laughs> oh no, no, no. Fox. Is this fox drowning literally? Oh my god. I don't want, like, if they're perched like that. Look how many chicken already spread out here in the water, though. There's so many. They're everywhere. Stupid chicken. Oh my god. Yeah. The, the foxes, the foxes are <laughs> like going after the water chicken. That's not the plan. Stay on land where you belong, fox. For hours I've been patrolling the perimeter now with my seed in my hand. <laughs> Listening for the horrible noises of the beasts unleashed in the perimeter. But it seems their voices have stopped. I have slain them all. Every single one of them. Well, there's probably hiding some chicken somewhere in the nooks and crannies, but <laughs> I think for the most part, we are back to normal. Just, you know, the classic um, slime invasion. That's about it. Ah, oh, the last thing to blow up. Oh, let's get rid of that stuff. Kablamo! Beautiful. Yes. Oh my god, that was absolutely insane. I've been at it for hours and hours and hours. Killing chicken. Oh, oh, oh. Do we have some survivors here? Hello. Yeah, come. Oh, man. Unreal. Yeah, I'll find I'll find plenty in the future. The foxes did a pretty decent job though, I think. I mean there's no single chicken around here anymore. Slain them all. I see foxes jumping about though. Oh Aha Sniffed you out. Yeah. Okay, okay, okay. Yeah, but a lot of the foxes are in the in the nooks and crannies there and just chilling. I feel bad. Um Maybe eventually they make it out. Here's a bunch of them. <laughs> oh, man. We got like a million people on. Nobody's sleeping. I'm struggling here, man. <laughs> oh. But I think... I think we did it. We cleared the chicken attack. Yeah. No more chicken noises anywhere. Oh. Okay, let's 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 check out how, how the situation is over at, at Green's Rock. <laughs> oh man. If you want some foxes, maybe you can get them. If he fixes the tunnel bore, then the war will be over. <laughs> Until the tunnel bore is not before I was like, oh, alright, well I'm cool. You know, I'm chilling. But now I insist the tunnel bore needs to be fixed. Otherwise it's endless prank war. Man. He's gonna have some fun killing those chicken in here. Throw them down here into the pit. So they really wander off in all the caves and things down there. <laughs> Man. This is nuts. Oh god, there yeah. They're definitely everywhere. Let me go. I have I had enough of you. Why did I even come back here? That oh that's traumatic. Let's get out of here. The lag, the sounds. Boy, oh boy. Oh, they're taking over. <laughs> Look at them sitting out here. Oh my god, it's gnarly. It's pretty much a server wide prank. As soon as this area gets loaded, everybody will be lagging. <laughs> Man. Oh, there's some chicken here. Like, what are you doing out here, man? Oh. oh, look at that. So clean. Ah, oh, all my portals are reinstated. 
Oh, now I need a break. Man, oh man, this was absolute straight up insanity. I hate chicken by now. I hate chicken. Like, I, there's nothing more in this Minecraft world I hate more than chicken. They are my arch nemesis forever. That was horrible. <laughs> days and days of chicken culling, man. What the heck? That was insane. Oh, I'm so glad we're done with it. <laughs> oh. Normally, you know, at this stage we do the comment of the week, but uh, today, um, yeah, there's something else uh, crazy important and exciting I want to inform you about. And yeah, today is Saturday, actually. This episode came out a day later because it took me forever to clear the chicken, man. Couldn't believe it. Uh, but yeah, today, actually, it happened. So you guys requested it, right? Uh, a while ago, Beef released the IRL TCG cards and you guys are saying, oh man, that's so cool. We want to have special editions that are autographed. And we were like, oh, okay, <laughs> I guess that's going to happen now too. And yeah, Creo launched them and they are out. Um, I think the pre-sale just started literally when this episode comes out around now. Um, yeah, head over to the link in the video description. And yeah, here it is. My card designed by Ink. Cool. Oh yeah, the goat father holding a winter skull, the dragon, <laughs> the tomatoes. Ah, I think this is one of the most beautiful cards. We even, you know, have the wings in there now, <laughs> as you can see. Um, but all the cards are fantastic. Check him out over there on Creo's website. And yeah, I hope you're you're happy. And you know, depending how many uh, are ordered, um, then first they will be shipped to me. And I will sign them all individually. <laughs> then I'll ship them back. And um, yeah, then they will send me out uh, to all of you guys. So that's um, th how this is going to work. And all the other hermits um, are also signing. I don't know, uh, you know if they agreed on certain amounts or so. I, I just straight up say, ah, screw it. You know, I'll sign everything. <laughs> so that's that. And um, I hope um, you like the designs. It was very, very awesome to get a bunch of our uh, amazing fan artists involved in this project, of course. And um, yeah, check him out. Um, feel free to let me know if you got one over on the Twitters also or here in the comment section. Would be nice to see and um, yeah, what you guys think about the project. But um, yeah, the last uh, batch of uh, TCG cards you, uh, cards you guys loved. And yeah, we wanted to uh, give back a little bit and make sure if you really specifically want to have one card and even have it signed, then um, there, um, you know you can do that too. So we don't want uh, that you have to buy like packs and packs and packs just because you want to have, uh, I don't know, a signed Jevin card or whatever, right? Um, if you want that one specifically, it's also available. So that's the idea behind, um, you know, this limited edition cards now. So yeah, with that said... Ah, yeah, look at that. No more chicken around. Nice performance in FPS. Bunch of foxes up in the in the holes here, chilling in the perimeter, making sure no chicken survives. If there's some stragglers, we'll find them. For some reason, there's also a wolf down here now. <laughs> but overall, I think we cleared up the mess and uh, I need a break, man. I need a break. Hopefully things calm down now, man. I just want to do a regular episode where we break Minecraft the regular way by building crazy machines. Not by literally freezing times because 10,000 chicken invaded. <laughs> Anyways, guys, thank you so much. I see you. Bye.